What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. Today we are staying at Sapphire Falls Resort at Universal Orlando and I'm going to be giving you a full review of if it's worth it to stay at this hotel as well as a resort and a room tour. This is Universal's preferred resort so I want to share with you if maybe it's worth it or not to book here. Let's go find out. So we're standing outside of Sapphire Falls right now, and it is also right across the street from Aventura Hotel. We stayed here, love this hotel. It is significantly cheaper, probably around $100 a night cheaper. And look at the distance difference. So check out that resort tour. I'll link it in the description down below. Okay, so before we head inside, I do want to say that I've stayed here once before. I have a resort tour of that, but I wanted to do an updated one because we didn't really have the best stay last time. And I'm going to show you why right now. Our room was right down in there. So it was kind of like an underground room. Like they kind of dug it out to make it not underground and you have a window. So we did have a window, but it was just very like dungeony vibes. We were in tower one, so it was a little far away from everything. And I don't know, I just didn't really love the room that we were at last time. So now I'll show you the room we're staying in this time and it's kind of totally different. Sapphire Falls has valet and self-parking. Self-parking is $31 a night. Welcome to Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort. I mean, you can't argue with how beautiful the lobby is here. I love the bright colors. I love the whole aesthetic in here. And I have to say, it smells absolutely so good in here. I wish I had smell-o-vision so I could share with you what it smells like. Right to the left, we have luggage services. So if you want to leave your bags here while well, your room's not ready or you're leaving and you want to leave your bags here and go to the parks, you could do that right here. This is also the way to Tower 1. We're staying in Tower 3, so we're not going to head that way. But here is the check-in desks. Now, I have a fun update to share. Universal has a new online check-in system. So, which, which is really great, they sent me an email about three days before my stay. It was a brand new system. I got to put in all my information, my credit card, my traveler's information, everything like that. So that way you can skip the line when you get here. They did have something like that in the past, but for the last few months, they haven't had it, the mobile check-in. Uh, and then they told me that it was because they were switching systems. So now new system is in place. So you're gonna be good to go. And I will say there's no line right now, but we really did skip a pretty big line by doing this mobile check-in. So in this lobby area too, they do have outlets. So you can charge your phone while you're waiting for your ride or whatever the case may be. But I love the furniture, it's so pretty. We'll stick to this left side for now and then go over to the right after. But here is concierge services as well as rental cars. We have some more benches over here in the lobby. It's like a very nice big lobby. It's very roomy. And this overlooks the pool, which we will definitely get down to. But this is the largest pool on Universal Orlando property. And it is truly amazing, I must say. Then this is the way to a guest house two, which goes down that way, of course. And in the lobby here, look how nice this is. This is a really fun area to hang out or if you want to watch a game, you see they got some sports on, it's the morning, so. And it's right below Strongwater Tavern, which is one of the dining options here at Sapphire Falls. They have an accessible ramp as well as stairs for this little lower level area. I just think it's really fun and look at these massive windows. This is like the centerpiece of the lobby here and it's just a beautiful, beautiful view. From here, we can see the water taxi dock right down below us and just a really nice view of the lagoon. So the water taxi is going to go that way. That is also the walking path to go to City Walk. And that's Royal Pacific. You can see Dr. Doom's Fearfall and a little bit of the Hulk. So this is Strongwater Tavern. Strongwater Tavern obviously is not open right now. It's eight o'clock in the morning, but they do have nice outdoor patio area. You can see right through this window. So 
So here is a look inside of Strongwater Tavern. This opens at 4 p.m. It has some delicious bites to eat as well as some great drinks. So if you want to grab a drink after your theme park day, this would be the place to do it. So it opens at 4 p.m. But it tells you to visit their other locations, Amastia Cookhouse, as well as the Drum Club Canteen on the pool side. So here's the strong water menu. It has a bunch of cocktails, wow, but also food. So Mexico, Colombia, Jamaica, Bahamas, Puerto Rico, a really nice selection of diverse cuisine. Here we have the Universal Vacation Planning Center where you can plan, purchase, and pick up your park tickets. More seating over here on this side of the lobby outside of the Universal Studios store. Now, I personally think this store is probably the best of the Universal Hotel shops. I don't know, I think it just has a lot. There's a lot of different items. Last time I was here, I found a Captain America hard drive that I'd never seen before. So of course they have all the Harry Potter stuff. They have your general Universal merchandise like Simpsons, Lard Lad, Marvel, Universal branded merch. They have a fuel rod station right here. So if you buy the fuel rod portable charger, you could swap it out here in the gift shop of Sapphire Falls. They also have the Sapphire Falls Spirit Jersey for $75. And this way is Guest House 3 as well as Ballroom. So this is where we're saying Guest House 3. So it was super easy for us. We just came up the elevator and we were able to get drinks there. They do have some seats outside as well. And these are the elevators that can take you down to the pool as well as level one. So it doesn't go up to any rooms, these elevators. It just goes down. Right outside of the store is the New Dutch Trading Co. So now this is the quick service option here at Sapphire Falls. Here they have cereal. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can get grab and go sandwiches, salads, snacks, coffee, spirits, soda, bottled water, ice cream, shakes, sweets, and pastries. It's open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Now, to my belief, they used to sell Starbucks here they don't now so i don't know if i was just thinking wrong this a whole time but that means that this is the only universal orlando hotel that does not sell starbucks i don't know it beats me but i didn't get to have my starbucks at this hotel but it's okay also new dutch trading company does not take universal annual pass holder discount another important thing to know so sapphire falls and the premier resorts their little grab and go quick service sections don't take annual pass discounts. If you want to check out the Premier Resorts, I have a video of actually comparing all the Universal Orlando hotels. That's probably the one you should watch first if you want to know the comparison of all eight, I've stayed at all eight hotels. A bunch of different snack options. They also have a gluten-free section, which I think is really nice. They also sell s'mores kits, which I think is super cute, and sticks that you can make s'mores outside. Here are the Sapphire Falls refillable cups. If you want to buy for the length of your stay or just a few days, you can do that and fill them up here at the Coke Freestyle Machine. They also have one down by the pool as well. Here are those spirits I was telling you about. It's fun. They have St. Augustine Distillery vodka here. Here they have hot sandwiches, croissants, biscuits. Then you have your refrigerated sandwiches, salads, fruit, and yogurt, as well as cold beverages like juices and milk. And I will say, it's never really that crowded. Every morning, my mom came and got up coffee here, and she was back so quick. I was so shocked of how fast it went. Maybe because it's not a Starbucks, honestly. <laughs> here are some of the pastries they have as well. And of course, coffee. All right, now let's head down to level two, and we can check out the pool. So the first time I stayed here, it took me so long to figure out where the heck I was. It is a little confusing resort to get the hang of, especially because of this staircase. So basically just to summarize, the lobby is on floor four, the pool is on floor two, and the water taxi is on floor one. As well as on floor two is the fitness center and the game room, which is right next to the pool. We'll get down there and show you. All right, so it goes from four to two. So here is level two. And here is going to be the game room, the pool, and the fitness center. 
Here's the game room. Looks like a lot of fun. It's not too big, but it's perfect. They have some claw machines, fun games. This is fun. This takes your picture while you ride this little car. Some basketball, some motorcycle, roller coaster games. And here are the prices. Here is the health and fitness center. It's open 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. And the locker rooms do have saunas in them, which is pretty cool. Then we step outside and this is the pool area. So here is the pool. It is a cooler day, so not many people are gonna be out here, but here's what it looks like. It's so big. And I love how in this middle is shallow, so you can actually walk across right here and then it gets deeper on the sides. And of course, this is the big slide, the longest slide on Universal property. But out here, they do have some ping pong tables and tables tables over here and some pool table a pool table which is fun and there is a refill station for your coke all right back at the big staircase now we are headed down to level one and here is a mastia cookhouse this is the largest dining option here in sapphire falls so it's breakfast time right now that's why they have the island sunrise breakfast buffet adults are 29 dollars it's actually not that bad children are 16 dollars and children under three are complimentary they also have a regular breakfast menu where you can get anything your heart desires there and lunch is served 12 to 5. And there's a lunch menu you got flatbreads desserts looks yummy and here is what a mastia cookhouse looks like it's very nice here is the way to guest house three, so we can actually get to our room that way. But I do want to show you the water taxi and the resort shuttle, which is out right this way. So if you're coming in to the hotel, you most likely from the water taxi are going to be walking through these doors and past Demacia Cookhouse. So right outside is the Sapphire Falls water taxi. It is so great. You go through security right here, so everything is quick and easy. They are always running at least two boats, so they come really, really quick. Here's one pulling up right now. Here is a map of the hotel. You can see there's three guest houses, the big pool, the water taxi, the lagoon, the front entrance where we started. That's, that's pretty much everything. So here's the accessible ramp to the water taxi as well. This is the walking path to City Walk. It took us about 15 minutes to get to and from City Walk. It's really not a bad walk at all. You've got to go through Royal Pacific. You're going to end up right here. And then this way is the shuttle bus stop. So if you wanted to take a bus to the parks, you can. But I honestly don't recommend it because then you're going to be put in the parking garage and you got to go through that security and you're just further away from the parks. The water taxi is so convenient, but the water taxi, honestly, is tough with the weather. So if it's raining or there's lightning, the water taxi is not going to run. If you still want to get to the parks and you don't want to walk, you're going to have to take the bus. So here's the shuttle bus stop. As you can see, there's literally nobody here because it's a nice day and Volcano Bay is closed due to weather. So if you are one, if you do want to go to Volcano Bay, you're going to have to take the bus there. This is where you would get the bus to Volcano Bay, but it's closed today because it is cool out. So Sapphire Falls does have a conference center. Here it is, ballrooms and meeting space right here. And that's this whole wing. And our window from our room is right here on the first floor. And that's Royal Pacific right across the street. You can see how close it is. You can see the Hulk going, Dr. Doom's fearful. It's pretty cool how close you are to all the action. So here is how close we are to the water taxi. So here's the water taxi right here, right? Then. Here's our room. Welcome to our room in Lowe's Sapphire Falls. Right off the bat, this lighting is not Crystal Palace approved, but let's show you the room here. All right, so you walk in, you have these tile floors. Of course, that mirror we just saw with the not good lighting, but we have a closet with a luggage rack, a safe, ironing board, hangers, your little extra pillows, blankets, hair dryer, and iron. 
Then right behind me is the vanity area. Here we have some extra towels and one sink, as well as these products they use in the Premier Resorts too, so they're very nice. And here is the mirror that you can adjust the brightness. Who doesn't love that? As well as a little vanity makeup mirror. Then the bathroom is separate here with a sliding door. And here is what the bathroom looks like. Our room does have a tub and not all the rooms in Sapphire Falls have tubs, but they have a nice towel rack, tub, and just a curtain for the shower. Here are your shower products. So pretty nice standard bathroom here at Sapphire Falls. Then we head in to the room. We got nice two queen beds. It smells very clean in here. It smells very fresh in here. And in the middle, we have a nightstand with Sapphire Falls notepad, a phone, as well as a clock. Here are the outlets. Two USB plugs right there. The walls aren't the cleanest. They could probably use a paint job, I would say. Lights. And here are the beds. I like the wood, white wood panelings of the beds. Super cute. Then a chair with a lamp. And here's our view, which is actually of the bus stop. And that's the conference center. And then there's Royal Pacific right there. They connect. The conference center connects. Pretty cool. I guess there's some conference going on because I uh, see a bunch of people. Don't mind our stuff, but these are the, this is a desk right here with more cups, ice bucket. If you want to buy a $7.50 Fiji water, you could do that. Here's everything you need to know about the hotel, in-room dining, all that good stuff, more outlets. Once again, a lamp. Here is a Keurig, coffee pot, cups, utensils, a little coffee, all, all that good stuff you need here. Then in these cabinets are drawers. You want to put your stuff away. You can do that. Here's the LG TV playing the universal fun videos and the mini fridge. And that's just about it, folks. Here's your room at Sapphire Falls. And this is carpet. So yeah, pretty nice. The reason that we kind of chose this room was because, yeah, we might have a view of the conference center and the bus stop, but that's okay because literally steps, we walk out of our room, just steps outside the door, I'll show you, is the water taxi. We are in Tower 3, which is amazing because, you know, you don't have to walk too far. And the thing is, you know, you can ask, you can say, oh, can I be closer to the water taxi? Can I be closer to the pool? Can I be on a lower level? It doesn't hurt to ask. They might not be able to guarantee that you get a room where you desire your room to be but it doesn't hurt to ask and so yes we have a view of the conference center but we are just steps away from the water taxi we're on floor one it's amazing so overall do i think sapphire falls is worth the stay honestly it's really nice being so close having that water taxi the water taxi is probably the biggest perk of staying at sapphire falls my thing with this hotel is is it worth it to spend the extra a hundred dollars a night rather than aventura or cabana bay to be just a little bit closer and have the water taxi Honestly, I don't know. Maybe if you want like a nicer elevated vacation stay, this would be good for you. My mom doesn't come as often, so I wanted her to have like a nice experience and use the water taxi, make it more convenient. So in that case, yes, Sapphire Falls is worth it. But if you're coming and you're trying to do like a budget trip, then honestly no because I would rather spend the extra money at a premier resort and get the express pass that's I think the thing that bothers me about Sapphire Falls is that it's almost just as expensive as Royal Pacific that's right next door and you don't get the express pass I think I would rather spend more money a little more money and get the express pass and stay at Royal Pacific or spend less money and stay at Aventura, which is right next door as well. But you know, I'm just giving you the honest tea, the honest opinion, because you work hard for your money. And I wanna tell you honestly, if you should spend it here or there or anywhere or not. So I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest. But Sapphire Falls does have the largest pool on Universal property. So if that matters to you and your pool people, 
then you might want to consider staying here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you would stay here at Sapphire Falls. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.